So just how do you destroy a narcissistic person? When you've been lied to, cheated on, deceived, betrayed, it is more than normal to stir up certain kinds of emotions where you're going to want to get them back. You wanna, you're going to want to get revenge. We're all human. We all have those emotional responses and impulses and desires. And somebody can get you to a point where you've suffered so much pain, you want to see them suffer in return. However, when it comes to that strong desire of wanting to destroy a narcissistic person, it's not actually the end goal. It can kickstart you into the end goal. However, as you have the empathy to care, if you were to destroy someone, you'd feel bad. So when it comes to that strong desire of wanting to destroy a narcissistic person, what you're looking for really is understanding of everything you've been through. And we can often go to the narcissist for this understanding and recognise that we're not going to get it from them. We're going to have to learn the hard way. We are often looking for healing to close up the wounds that they've opened within us. And we're looking for growth so that we can learn from the experience and use it to benefit our future, to stop focusing on our past and use our present to create a better future. So when it comes to destroying a narcissistic person, it is crucial to comprehend the traits, the behaviours, and the motives behind a narcissistic person to understand why they do the things they do and act in the manners that they do so that you're no longer taking it personally or you're no longer taking personal responsibility for their behaviour. So one of the first things you need to do to destroy a narcissistic person is educate yourself on their behaviour so that you can recognise their gains and no longer play because narcissistic people are seeking that validation and that attention from you and when they're no longer getting it from you this threatens their ego and then it's about practicing your boundaries creating that emotional physical psychological that mental distance from them they have spent however long they've known you, getting to know everything about you that they can use against you to get the desired reaction from you. And when they're no longer getting that reaction, it threatens their sense of control over you, which is why physical distance is always advised because you need to be careful around those who lack empathy and, and are self-motivated in getting their needs met. Then you need to learn to no longer feed their ego. Refuse to provide them any form of substance. No praise, no thanks, no reaction, no communication. They simply do not exist, which hurts a narcissistic person to the core because they believe they're superior, they believe they're better. They need you to stroke their ego. They need you to feed their ego. They're looking for that attention from you, primarily positive attention and praise and recognition. However, if they can't get this, they still want to feel important to you. So they want to provoke those negative responses, if at all possible, so that they can blame you. Look at the state of you, what's your problem? They aren't willing to hear you because they lack the empathy to listen to what you have to say. They just have the exploitative nature to use what you said to them against you to hurt you so that they can feel in control. Living well is one you need to be very, very, very careful about when it comes to a narcissistic person because they are extremely envious people. So if they see you living well, they'll either come back with the hoover to join you for the ride or they will go along to destroy it. They will go all out to destroy it for you. However, living well destroys a narcissistic person because they no longer have control 
over your life. You've managed to break free from them and move on from them. Now, if a narcissistic person fears that you could expose them in some way and sees you're living well, they're more likely to leave you alone because that fear of exposure threatens them more than you living a good life. No contact, cut off all supply, sever their ability to wreak havoc on your life. A narcissist is going to twist it in their head how you're the one that's bitter, you're the one that's jealous, you're the one that's mean, you're the one that's cruel, you're the one that's done everything they did to you because to themselves they have to rewrite it where they're either the hero or the victim in the story and you're the bad one, you're the toxic one, you're the villain. That's fine. Let them go and destroy their own lives while you go and create a much happier life for you. No contact is blocking them, blocking their acquaintances, blocking their friends and family. And because you have the emotions, because you have the empathy, because you have the ability to care, because you have the ability to feel guilty, it's not an easy feat. However, it is worth it. It doesn't matter what other people think of you. What matters is how life is going for you and when someone continually destroys it brings you crashing down and causes you pain you need to sever ties with that person remember any actual attempt to destroy a narcissistic person is a futile endeavor their traits are deeply ingrained so much so that they do not see themselves as the problem they will twist it in their head to you if they get the opportunity, to those around you, in a narrative that suits the narcissist. And they do it in a way to try and smear your name, to ruin your reputation, dis destroy your character, to get you to defend yourself and explain yourself. And then they have you right where they want you. They then feel like they're important to you, that they matter to you. No matter how much you beg a narcissist to stop, they won't. They'll keep going, they'll keep pushing you past your limits to get their desired reaction from you so they can accuse you of being bitter and obsessed and jealous and crazy and see, I told you what they're like because they don't recognise what they've done and if they do, they don't care. Just looking to get their needs met. We cannot obliterate a narcissistic person. We cannot destroy a narcissistic person. We can learn to empower ourselves to break free from a narcissistic person, which a narcissist doesn't like. They don't like losing control of other people. Most people don't like losing people. So breaking free does actually destroy a part of them. They will rewrite it in their own head to suit their own script. That's none of your business. Living well, understanding, healing, growing and living a better life. That is your business. If anyone has any thoughts on this video, please do add those into the comments for people reading through. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot get in contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. I do also have a couple of books out on Amazon, a narcissist handbook, which is the ultimate guide to understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse and 15 rules to deal with narcissistic people. If you cannot go no contact, I shall add those into the description if you'd like to go and check them out. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.